Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to talk about fasting today. And I'm going to share something with you guys that the Lord allowed me to actually feel in my body um, one night when I was uh, asking him a question about fasting. So, and um, I want to share some things like this was a long time ago. This was when I first started getting uh, used to communicating with God. I would have uh, like uh, write down things that the Lord would say to me and I would ask him questions and stuff and write down what he said to me and so this was like the beginning of my relationship uh, getting closer to God so I'll just share with you guys what happened okay so one night I was just hanging out with the Lord and I just wanted to know like a secret thing or just something just something um, from the Lord and so I asked him a question I said um, Lord, can you reveal a secret to me or just something that not a lot of people know? Um, you know, could you reveal that to me? And so right after I asked the Lord that, all of a sudden my stomach started hurting. And my stomach started swelling up like it was getting like bigger and bigger and it was just swelling up and it was hurting so bad. And I was like, oh, Lord, what's happening? What's going on? What's wrong? And so this is the scripture that he actually sent me to where the Bible is talking about fasting. So here in Luke 5, they're coming to the Lord Jesus. They're asking him uh, questions about fasting. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast? When the bridegroom is with them but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days and he spake also a parable unto them no man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old if otherwise then both the new maketh a rent and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeeth not with the old and no man putteth new wine into old bottles else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he saith, the old is better. Okay, so this is really, really cool. When I had went back to read this, when the Lord um, actually uh, allowed me to experience that in my body, I went to read this. And when you go into study Bibles, if you read study Bibles, then they break down what this scripture or what this is talking about. They're all talking about, you know, the old covenant. The old covenant is the old wine skins and the new covenant is the new wine. That's why you can't put new wine into old wine skins. That's what the study Bibles will say this means. But this is what the Lord said. The Lord said it doesn't mean that. This is talking about fasting, not the old covenant or the new covenant. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It's talking about fasting. Okay, I'll tell you guys what the Lord actually told me about this. This is talking about fasting and the reason why the disciples was not fasting with the Lord Jesus being with them because the Lord was already with them. They didn't need to fast. The reason why we fast is for the Lord to come and fill us up. If the Lord is already in you, filling you up, you don't need to fast. Now, the purpose of fasting is to uh, for the Lord to come and fill you up, basically. That is the pur purpose of fasting. So, if the Lord is already with you, you don't need to fast. The Lord did say here that there will be a time when he will not be with them anymore and that is the time when they will fast but as long as he's with them they don't need to fast so now fasting uh, the purpose of fasting like I said is so that the Lord can come in and fill us up and we have to clean everything out for him to come in and this is the cool thing that he actually told me about the reason why we have to clean everything out is because demonic spirits thrive now this is his words Demonic spirits thrive in feces, like the, the stuff that's in our intestines and our colon, the poop and feces. Demonic spirits thrive in that. They thrive in that. That's filth. That's nasty. God doesn't, that's unclean. So we have to get all of that stuff out. That's what fasting does. 
I mean, you can fast. I mean, they, you know, they have the different fasts where you can fast, you know, sweets, but you're still eating meat. You're still eating all of that stuff. You're not going to get God to come in and fill you up because you still have feasts. You have, you know, defilement inside of your body. You have to clean, purify, and clean all of that out to really get filled up with God. Okay? And so another cool thing the Lord also told me that's really good for us to do is to do like some type of natural laxative. A natural laxative will flush all that poop and all of that nasty stuff out of your body. It will keep you more cleaner. And you'll be able to feel God's presence um, more. You'll be able to feel because he can just come in and fill you up more. Like even if it's a little bit in there, you'll still be able to feel this presence more. But if you can clean that out, he will be able to come in and fill you up. Okay? Um, so that's why, you know, um, the Lord Jesus, you know, he went out and he, he fasted. And when he came back, he came out of his fast, he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Like he was filled with power completely. He went on a 40-day fast total night and day you know no food whatsoever and so when he came out he was totally filled up with God's spirit walking in the power of the Holy Ghost and that's when his ministry started so this is a tip for you guys whenever you are fasting like even if you just need to do it for a day what you can do uh, to lead up to your fast before you fast Find a natural laxative. Find something that's natural, something that's gentle that will flush your system out, flush out your uh, intestines, flush out your colon. Get it as clean as possible before you go into your fast because then you will be able to be uh, filled up, uh, you know, with the Lord's uh, presence, His Holy Spirit. Okay? So, um, something else I do want to share with you guys about my diet. The Lord's actually given me a diet and... Um, you know, that actually helps my body stay more cleaner, um, you know, whenever I'm sticking to the diet. But I'll share that with you guys in the next video, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy that. Like I said, uh, if you're going to start a fast, do a little, you know, um, natural type of cleanse. Cleanse your body out really, really good. Uh, and try to, you know, um, keep food out of your body. Drink a lot of water. If you're going to do a fast, that's the best fast to do, a water fast. Um, and because that will let your body take a break to flush out all of that poop and all of those feces and get those demonic spirits out of there. And something else, if you guys are struggling with being attacked by demonic spirits, maybe it's like a really serious stronghold or something. Also, like what uh, the Lord Jesus talks about is that some things cannot come out, um, um, but only by fasting and praying. So the thing about like when God's presence, let's say if you do a fast and you uh, do a, a natural laxative, you get all the feces, everything. Because like I said, the Lord actually told me that demonic spirits thrive in feces. So when we have all of this stuff inside of our intestines and our colon, demons are thriving in that type of stuff. That's why we need to get it clean out, you know. Um, so, you know, and if you have demonic spirits that are totally attacking your body, maybe in those type of areas or in your body, and fasting and praying is the only thing that can get it out because you got to clean all of that stuff out where they're thriving in so God can totally come in and totally fill you up and remove that sickness, remove those demons because he's totally filled you up. You don't have anything you know, nasty in there. You got all that stuff out. And so he can totally come in and fill you up and everything else will be removed. So that's what that's talking about, fasting and praying. Some things you got to fast and pray because those demonic spirits are living inside of your poop. You know, your 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 insides, is, it's got a lot of feces in it. You just need to clean it out because that stuff defiles us. But, okay, so... <laughs> All right, so like I said, if you guys want to uh, start applying this to uh, your fasting, um, you know, uh, uh, start out with the light cleanse and then fast. Like I said, water is the best type of fast, okay, uh, when you're doing a fast. So you flush out everything so there's nothing left in there. Whether it's one day, two days, three days um, on your fast or however long you want to do it, um, but... Uh, and also seek the Lord what kind of fast he wants you to do because we want to do the fast that he wants us to do um, because uh, Isaiah talks about you know the Lord says you know he has chosen fast 
the fast that he has chosen. And that's the type of fast that breaks the chains, the bondages, the yokes, all of that stuff. So seek him and see if he wants you to do a one day fast, three day fast, you know, whatever fast he wants you to do. But see what he says and then do that type of fast. That's the type of fast that's more effective when God actually guides you on what to do instead of us saying we're just going to do it. You know, because it becomes more religious when we just do it because we're not even seeing what God has to say about it. We're just doing what we want to do. But seek the Lord. See what type of fast he would choose for you, whether one, two, three days or longer. And then do something natural to cleanse your body out before you start that fast. So you can start experiencing God's presence more faster and receive deliverance, healing, whatever you need more faster. Okay. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another video. And I'm going to do that video on sharing with you guys the diet that the Lord has given me. All right, so God bless.